Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage in the Cage 2 here in Stoke-on-Trent in association with Stoke Fight Factory. I'm Brad Fordier Wharton, joined in the commentary position by Jamie the Haymaker Hay. And we're on for our fourth fight here, Jamie, in the middleweight division, Chad George versus Matty Hillier. We are indeed Chad George. Uh, he's had a long trip down here um, from Barrow. Uh, he's, a, you know, one of the Flex MMA boys. Know, know quite a lot about the Flex team. Uh, where Brett McDermott, who used to who actually is the FCC current light heavyweight champion, um, he it's a really good team they got down there. It's a very very small town, uh, and it, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a it's a really good community. They've, they've got into this MMA with flex and stuff, and everyone, everyone's really working out there. We, we went down to a show there not long ago. It's really really good to see even such a small place having uh, MMA there. One of the things we know about all the flex guys is they're all really really tough gritty, hard-working dudes. You know, what what they might lack in experience, they make up for in sheer toughness and, and determination. And hopefully we're gonna see the same here tonight from Chad George. Absolutely, we've seen that We've seen that with some of the, uh, the Flex teammates, such as uh, Craig Keasley and people like that. Very, very tough opponent. You know, it's one of them where you see you see that as your opponent and it's, it's a frightening aspect because you can, you can, uh, you can anything can happen in the fight. Yeah, Craig is a perfect example. Always there, always coming to fight. And his opponent, stepping into the cage and fighting out of the red corner, Matty Hillier! Right, so, uh, making his way down with Alex Johnson and uh, Conrad Hayes, who's actually fighting on the uh, FCC on the 22nd of June in the co-main event, Brad. Fantastic fight, that is. Looking forward to that one. He's fighting against a very worthy opponent, Jordan Desborough from the SPG. So Matty Hill is our second guy from Stoke Fight Factory tonight. His teammate Craig Young won earlier on. First round submission with a rear naked choke. Going to see if Matty Hill can keep a clean sheet here for Stoke Fight Factory here at Rage of the Cage 2. He's a big boy, is Matty Hillier. He looks like a very tall, rangy fighter. He's probably going to have a little bit of distance on uh, on Chad George in this one. Yeah, it does look that way, doesn't it? He is a big lad. We know they're all bangers coming out of Stoke Fight Factory, so that little bit of distance might give them an advantage going into this one. Very true, Brad. They're all bangers, and they are all bangers as well. Official introduction. The fighter, fighting in the blue corner, weighing in at 84.4. He's at 24 stands at 6'2. He fights out of flex MMA Hills from Halloween Finance. Chad Spaz John. Red corner, weighing in at 83.9. He's 22 stands at 6'4. He fights out of Stoke Fight Factory in Hills from Coventry. Matty Hillier. There's Chad George in the black and red. These guys with a very determined looking face off here. You know what, he's definitely got the uh, the height advantage, a couple inches there. But if you look at the, the arms um, on Chad George, he's got really long arms. So they might not be too much of a distance issue for him. Oh, well, he's caught there straight away. There's a nice right hook there from Matty Hillier. And I tell you he's what, now he's taken down, but straight into the guillotine. Close guard, this is tight. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's quite got it there. He needs to pull the arm through. Well, maybe he has. It's tight, but he's just not got it. And Chad George pounding away at the ribs there. He needs to push on the elbow there, doesn't he, Brad? Just got to stay calm in this position. Get that head out. But this is a tight guillotine. Pushing down on the head there. Unique uh, way to defend this guillotine choke. From Chad George. That is very, very tight. And, and there's a tap. There you go, there's a tap. And that is it. That did look like it did look like a tap to me. Like a to tap from here. I don't think referee Dean Way could see it from his position. Yeah, I don't think Dean's seen it, and that was, I think that was a tap. And now George working the ribs. 
it's really, really hard to see what happened there, to be honest. But and Matty Hillian needs to keep composed now. He's going to put that behind him. Yeah, he's still got a very, very tight guillotine in here. It's got to be wearing on the arms, though. Chad George punching away to the ribs, reddening up that midsection of Matty Hillier. Yeah, he probably he could hold on to the guillotine. Probably land some hammer fist to the face there. Oh, there we go, and he's popped it out. And he's out. As you were saying, Brad, about the tightness of the arms, that is exactly what's happened there. Ground the power oh, coming down big, heavy now shot there. from Chad George. That was a, there's a couple of big heavy shots from here from, uh, from Hillier, Chad George. Hillier keeping the legs active. Stopping George from raining down too many shots from this top position. Another nice right hand there from George. Definitely do some damage with them punches now. He is, but Hillier's making it difficult for him to get any um, sustained offence going on from this position. He, he's keeping those hips active, he's keeping the legs up. The guard is, is quite tight when he wants it to be. That's got to be exerting pressure uh, on Matt Hillier, hasn't it? More chopping big shots body, to the body shots. Oh, there's a nice hammer fist to the face there. Chad George desperately trying to create some distance so we can throw some shots down with something substantial behind them. He's struggling to do that at the moment. Matt Hillier defending very, very well. Those legs going up now, perhaps looking for an armbar. Yeah, he's got a very, very active guard. Uh, it's always good to see an active guard. It means you go for submissions usually. And Hillier being invited to stand up by referee Dean Weir. And we're back on the feet in this middleweight contest. And there's a second takedown. Exactly the same as the first time. Grabbed that neck but was taken down. Very interesting first round there, Jamie. Very interesting. <laughs> was indeed, Brad. Uh, it did look like a tap, to be honest. I mean, going, going from that, but he's got to, like you say, Brad, you've got to put that behind you now. It's happened. It's done with. You've got to move on to the next round. It's simple, isn't it? Um, but it was a very close close round, really. I mean, we, we spent, what, about a minute of, of, the of the first minute in a guillotine. Absolutely. But, you know, then it comes down to the age-old question. If you've got a guy in a submission, but he's not tapping out, how much does that guillotine really score? How much are the judges pay, you know, paying attention to that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, I, and we, we did notice as well. You said it straight away. He's gonna, he couldn't end up burning his arms out. And a minute later, his arms, you could see it. He had to, he had to physically let go. Absolutely. And we're going to wonder how that's going to affect him now going into the second round and possibly the third if it goes that far. Yeah, it, it, it affects you in many ways. The punching power goes straight away. As soon as, you, as, soon as your arms get tired because of that, you know, you, you, your punches are just not as effective. Well, that lactic acid build-up makes your arms feel like lead weights. And we're going to see how that affects Matty Hillier as we start this second round here at Rage in the Cage 2. Hillier in the white shorts, Chad George in the black and red. And nice it's George up there. with a nice low kick, presses his man against the cage and immediately looking for that takedown again. Guillotine. Again, he's going for that guillotine. And this is a carbon copy of the start of the first round. But he's not going to get the takedown this time. Not that easy. But he's got underhooks this time. So he's uh, defended slightly better than he did the first two times there. Chad George breaking away, landing a nice right hand there on the break. Oh, that's a nice over on there. Both guys loading up those punches. Oh, but Hillier with a standing guillotine. This is really tight. And he's using that lanky frame to full advantage here. He's not got it in tight enough though. Yeah, that is a, that is a I tell you what, it looks like he's gone there. So close here, there, and there it is! There we go. There's the submission, no mistake this time. Matty Hillier securing the guillotine choke in the second round. Do you, you know what, he's, he's funny. Uh, we were talking to uh, his coach earlier on today, who said he has really, really good guillotines. Uh, and you can see it straight away. It caught him there in, in three guillotines throughout the, the fight. He's and a I mean, tall guy who's able to use that leverage perfectly. Matty Hillier with a second round standing guillotine choke. Ladies and gentlemen, after 
50 seconds of the second round by way of a guillotine. Your winner, Matty Hillier! Please show your appreciation for Chad Jones.